Hi, it's Feli from Foxys again, and today we are going to discuss about slider and CMS collection. So to start, I'm just going to create a collection. So here I'm just clicking the CMS collection, name the collection uh, destination, add a image field, and then create another field which is going to be used for the description. And I'm just going to set maximum character of 200. So here I'm just going to create five items. Now that's done. So I'm just going to add a collection list here. Click on destination. And then I'll go into the slider and copy the grid, which is inside the slide, and paste it to collection item. So as you can see here, all the text and image are the same. So I'm just going to link it to the collection. So it will reflect the collection list. Now that all of the content is linked. I'm just going to refer FinSuite attributes, which is what we're going to use for our CMS slider. So step number one is just copy the script to your header. You can do this either by page or site-wide. So here I'm just going to paste it on this page. Step number two is basically paste the attribute to the collection list. So that's what I'm going to do. Click on the collection list here and go to settings, add the custom attributes. You can go to FinSuite YouTube to get more in-depth explanation. So here I'm back to FinSuite page to copy the, the slider attribute. So here I'm just going to paste the second attribute slider and then I publish it and check if it's correctly linked. If it's correctly linked then you can see the collection inside the slider. Next I'm just going to check on the slider animation on preview. So as you can see here you can see the animation for the slider which you cannot see on the live site so now I'm just gonna go to FinSuite page I'm just gonna do the option for reset interactions and then you add it to the slider at attribute so here I'm just gonna paste the attribute then publish that and see and see if that worked so that worked but the problem is the initial interaction state doesn't really work. Um, so I'm just going to go back to Webflow design and then hide the collection, which is not going to affect the end result. It's going to make Webflow designer neater. So as you can see here, it doesn't really affect the final result. Same like what I discussed before, the state interaction doesn't reflect on the live slider. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a on-click JavaScript for this because the slider animation only works once you click the next or previous button. So here I'm just going to create a function which I named click slider. As usual, you just add open script tag and closing script tag and add the function in between so I'm just going to target the next button or the right arrow by there by the by by its 
custom attribute so if it's an if it's an attribute you need to have a bracket inside as you can see here and then add the click bracket listener function and then I'm just gonna have console log click to make sure that this function works and then here I'm just gonna call the click slider function so I'll save and publish the page and then I'm just gonna check if this works so I will click right click press on inspect and click on the console so now as you can see that I don't see the click text which means this function didn't work so now I'm just gonna comment on the click function just to make sure that this function actually work that only have console log in it so here I'm gonna go back and refresh so here you can see the click text which mean the function works so now back to our designer mode I'm just gonna go ahead and uncomment the code and then save that and publish again so even though there's a click text here but I don't see the function actually working which is which the slider should move on load so here I'm guessing maybe the click function is too too fast so I'm just gonna create a timeout for this function as you can see I type let timeout so that the declaration is global so you can summon it anywhere and then create the function slider timeout and timeout equal to set timeout inside the bracket which have click slider function and then the timing which is 0.3 seconds so here I'm just gonna change what I'm going to call to slider timeout and then I tried it on the live page doesn't seem to work so I'm gonna go to incognito page and see if that works because sometimes the browser takes the previous information so it will only work in a new browser or in incognito so now I'm just refreshing the page to see if it works it doesn't seem to work so I'm just gonna go back to the designer mode and check on the code again it seems like there's an error there's a syntax error so I'm just gonna remove that bracket press save so here you can see that the click function works where if I press refresh you'll see that the slider moved because it has been clicked on load here as you can see I change all the collections content I also want to mention that you can change you can change the timeout from here say if you want it to be 0.5 then you can change to 500 it all depends on what you want to achieve so that's it that's the end of our complex slider lesson as well as the overall slider lessons if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment and share if you have any question feel free to drop them in the comment below or reach out to us at floxiscommunity.webflow.io and i'll see you next time bye